Hey, this is Doc T here. Uh, and behind me is just a beautiful sight of a whole bunch of kids just enjoying the day, riding their horses off on a sunset uh, trail ride here in beautiful South Florida, where the weather is just spectacular. And I don't know why it can't be like this throughout the United States, but it's just so cool. Anyway, these kids learn to ride and have fun. And that sun is just blowing us out. Sorry about that. Um, I'm gonna cut between these guys here and maybe you guys can see the rest of them. Anyway, we've been having a great day. Uh, Melissa and I have been working here together uh, along with Chelsea, our vet student from Iowa, uh, who's just doing a great job. Uh, this is her uh, almost last day. See, today's Wednesday, so three more days of seeing horses. And what's really cool is uh, she's getting to see so much. What did we do today? Um, we saw, uh, again, a bunch of horses with some really interesting things going on. Uh, teeth that are uh, not so bad. A uh, 28-year-old horse. Again, we're getting a lot of old horse care. Uh, we saw a wolf tooth earlier, uh, so we get some young horse care. Uh, cap remnants, we've had that. Uh, there's so many different things and such a variety of things uh, that it's just really cool. Um, if you're watching this now, and there's not too many of you on here, but I'm sure that pretty soon you'll, you'll all tune in. Um, or if you see this later on this evening, uh, go ahead and just uh, send it out there, share it with some people, because I think it's really cool. Um, what else? Gosh, there was something else today that was really great. We, we just get surprised. I mean, we got one more horse here, and that horse could be, um, you know, it's probably a very old horse with lots of missing teeth. And how we address that, that's really cool. We got to talk to an 88-year-old horse owner. Yes, 88, and she's still riding actively and even thinking about getting a new horse. That blows my little mind. Uh, let's see, what else is going on? Um, oh, we're all going out to dinner soon. And going out to dinner is really fun because when we have a student go out, uh, we start going over all the, the processes of what we've been doing. Um, and that's just a, a lot of fun. So anyway, I just want to touch base. That's so cool to see all those kids going out there. Yes, I know, riding helmets is important. I got it. I think everyone should have a helmet on. It's just not the way they do things here. I've been going to this farm since 98, and that's just the way they do it. It's a Christian-based farm, and they believe that children should be uh, uh, exposed to their, their horses, and, and I still love it. I think it's kind of cool. Um, but that's it here. Oh, this is like the last remaining farm. Right next door, there's all sorts of, well, you can't see it, but there's tons of uh, development all around us, and they're squeezing this place out, and that's just so sad to see because uh, they've had tons of kids come through here. Like I said, I've been going here since 98, which is kind of up on 19 years that I've been going to this farm. And the horse's teeth are in great shape. The horse is in great shape, but they're allowed to live like horses. And if you ever go to the horsesadvocate.com and become a member and see what's going on, um, you'll find that um, allowing a horse to be a horse is just so important to their health. Um, we've seen a couple horses today that are overfed on grain, are low protein. I got a good picture of a top line that's starting to waste away, both in an older horse and a regular horse. In fact, we went to see a horse this morning. It's a rescue uh, that just got rescued. It's only been there for a couple of days. It had her horrendous uh, skin issues, no top line at all, uh, dejected look in the face, a dull eye, all these things, and razor sharp teeth. And you can't imagine how, how important it is to get the pain that chronic pain that they have just get it out of there and we're able to get the, the pain out of the mouth by floating the teeth but there's so much more this horse has to go through deworming get rid of all the parasites that are, are challenging this horse's immune system and get on some protein to make sure that it, it can fight off everything remember proteins made up of all these amino acids just like all the words are made up of of letters and if I take give you all the letters but take away the letter W you don't have the words who what why when or how so you can't even ask me a question with just one letter missing and if you're missing one amino acid you cannot make all the proteins made with that amino acid and the hoof is made up of just of complete amino acids a complete protein one of those amino acids makes up 26% of the hoof. And if you're missing that one amino acid, you're gonna have a shelly, crumbly, deformed, cracked, diseased, 
a thrushy hoof because it doesn't have the integrity that it should have because it's not getting the right protein, the right kind of protein. Remember, you just can't have protein in your horse's life. You have to have several varieties of protein. You have to have a broad spectrum to include all the letters. That's so important. When you see these horses going out and having a good trail ride, they're actually in great shape because they're allowed to have a broad spectrum of proteins in their diet because they have a variety out in the pastures. But most people just have one small pasture, maybe not enough grass in there, and they feed just hay and then throw in something like 10 or 14 percent protein but they don't even they can't tell me what that type of protein is because 14 percent of, of a protein that only is half absorbed is only seven percent protein and if it doesn't have all the amino acids it really doesn't matter if you feed this horse a thousand pounds of it a day it's still not getting all the amino acids it needs to have complete proteins so that's my little message that i get out i know you all know that i'll just do teeth doc t and equine dentistry out drama i get it but I'm more than that. I'm a horseman who happened to become a, a veterinarian who happens to limit his practice just to dentistry. But my sole purpose is to help you become better horse owners. And I do that through the horsesadvocate.com. I do that through horsemanshipdentistry.com. And I do that through horsemanshipdentistryschool.com. And all these sites are there to make people better horsemen. Um, and, and if you can, when you become a member of the Horse Advocate, you're going to get my free book called The 10 Irrefutable Laws of Horsemanship that'll help you learn how to connect with a horse, not in 30 days, not in 30 minutes, but in about 30 seconds. That's what we do every day on this, in, on our job. So anyway, I've taken enough of your time. I'm gonna hang up and um, <laughs> talk to you guys later. I hope you guys are, are at least a little bit warm where you live. Uh, if not, just think of us and uh, hopefully you'll have some warm thoughts. Thanks, bye.